Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at audiblepodcast.com slash Sorgatron Media. Over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It is the fanciest of all nights for us. We have the jackets on, we have the ties in various parts of our body parts. Uh, oh, here we are. You don't want to know where Chachi's is. And the party indeed is at my place because it's Mayhem Studios. Uh, it's a wrestling mayhem show. And we got our usual cast of characters here. Oh, dancing and crazy. And, uh, hey, doing, it dude, is the Mayhemies. It is the Mayhemmy night. Someone, someone get Todd Pettengill. First, uh. So wait, wait, who gets to be Anne Hathaway and who gets to be James Franco? Well, let me I, get to that because the Anne Hathaway of our show, of course, tonight is DJ Lunchbox on the line. How you doing tonight, sir? Uh, you guys can't tell, but I actually have a uh, bow tie tied around my dick. Okay. Nice. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm coming over for that later, okay. big boy. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, hot dog? It's DJ Lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, my dog? This is DJ Lunchbox. I am coming to you, not from my Arctic location. I have abandoned my outpost. I am here in the south side of Pittsburgh, um, but I, uh, it's good to be home, but I don't have internet yet. So here I am coming to you on my Droid 2. Droid Fantastic, two. fantastic. Glad we can connect up with you. And, of course, straight out of Corpus Christi, Texas, keeping his it's head warm. This week. Yay. Yes, the Wrestle fan. Of all wrestle fans, how you doing tonight, sir? I am awesome because tonight is the third annual, right? Third annual. What, I don't know when it? we started this. Sure, fourth. Hey, Emmy Award. It's our fifth it's, year, so you know, do the math. Do the. So I four. don't. I don't like math. Okay. Uh, <laughs> then why did I put I, you in a, charge? It's of the a numbers? nice night. It's a fancy night. You can tell because I got a tie. Again, this is a tie. He's stealing around, my gimmick from last it's year. It's around my noggin. I can steal gimmicks because I'm the wrestle fan. He's young. He has a short attention span, so anything longer than seven minutes, he can steal. Anyways. <laughs> and also, straight out of the Bronx, New York. What's up, hot dog? God. <laughs> Where they got some great hot dogs. Matt and Mike, how you doing tonight? How you doing, ladies great hot and dog. germs? I got my tie on. I got my fancy seeds because I am the dashingest of the mad mics. But I'm angry this week. Unfortunately, so you're... I will be the maddest of the dashing mics. <laughs> your 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 tie unfortunately blends right in with your black shirt. I'm aware of that. <laughs> that was Bro, by design, so Sorg. Yeah, that was by design. Kind of see it. All right. Not, and... not many men can pull off the black on black, but here in the Bronx, we're allowed. <laughs> But Wrestling Mayhem Show, we love black on black. Oh, and on the couch, not wow. being racist, is Shachi. How you doing? <laughs> yes, I am not being racist tonight. I have my uh, professor's jacket on. Uh, I am ready to celebrate the mayhem. And a sweet new hat. Yes, it's the Chachi Says hat. CS right there on yep. the hat. That's great. <laughs> so I, I'm kind of excited about that. And if you think it means a score or something... You're wrong. Screw you. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, you, you love that, that we can say fuck down. on this yes, show. Yes, I do love that All I right. can say fuck on this show. Fuck. And again, we are the Wrestling Mayhem That's right. Show. We are the Wrestling uh, Fucking Mayhem holy Show. shit, you are just wrestling loving that mic, sir. Oh, my God. Show <laughs> fucking. All right. Sorry. This is episode 261 <laughs> of the Wrestling it. Mayhem oh, yeah. Show. Yeah. Uh, you, you you can find us at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Twitter is at Mayhem Show, <laughs> where we talk mayhemy things. Mayhemy thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and you can also yeah. contact us if you have any feedback about the show or anything we should be talking about. To good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. I miss Mayhem Missy already uh, from last week. Uh, four one two. It's your fault for not capping it, Sorg. Four one two two zero six WMS zero is our hotline. Also four one two two zero six nine six seven zero. Please keep it on 30 seconds per oh. like, and we will most likely use it here on the show. We don't like editing things. I Call us when you're drunk. Oh. Yes, and as uh, Mad Mike is holding up right there is the handy-dandy little iPhone app on his iPod Touch, even. Uh, it's, it could go on the iPad. There's even an Android version. Look it up. Look it up on your iTunes store, or if you have an Android device, 
Uh, it's the wrestling show for some reason in the Android market, but you can look for it there, and it does all the same fancy stuff, so I'm told. But I have iDevices, so I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it's, but it, it's fancy. Doodle. It's fancy. Yes, it's fancy. It has quick links it's, right there it's, to. It's made of. It's made of wonderment and magic. There you go. It has quick links right there to audio versions of this show. Uh, as well as the exclusive WMS Gold uh, pre-show, post-show, post in-between takes content uh, and other videos we bring in there that you will not see anywhere else where we just kind of go off kilter about and everything. And if you play it backwards, it's a recipe for dudders. There you go. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and quick links to the email address, to the Twitter, to the uh, voicemail line for one year drink. There's mumbling happening on the south side, apparently. Um, wow. Wow. Uh, please subscribe to us on iTunes. Uh, leave us comments and five stars and all that fun stuff. Uh, Blip TV, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. I'm sorry, WrestlingMayhemShow.blip.tv. We're also on MediaFly, YouTube.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. Get the mayhem anywhere you want. Um, hey. Yes? I said mayhem. Oh, I thought you said hey. Uh, if you're interested, we're we're looking for a new fan initiative on the show. Please contact us at that good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com if you're interested and, uh, in sparking. Uh, Sork, do you want to know why the new fan initiative is so important? Why is that? Because the new fan initiative brought me to the show. Technically, the new fan initiative brought Russell fan to the show. This guy, it this brought guy right Riz. Here. Mm-hmm. It brought AJ. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It brought the Prince Magus, mm-hmm. and we're all nominated for Mayhemies tonight. Oh, don't forget! Boom! The, don't forget the Hot Wheels. The Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Oh yes, and of course. Well, the Hot Wheels has always been leading the way. So, of course, of course. I didn't think I needed to mention him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um, he spelled he spelled hay like a horse. <laughs> and we're also working on something. Uh, we're we're asking asking the wrestlers on Twitter. We we're we're working on that project as well. Hope to bring it. You uh, an update. We started an Ask the Wrestlers uh, Twitter, so we'll be using that. Uh, so keep an eye out for that here soon. Um, also, well, that's it. That's fan fan mail. Fan mail. You know, you fan mail. mail. We got a fan <laughs> mail, folks. How did you from... guys think that? Wow, that was impressive. That's in... over <laughs> Skype, even. Oh no. All right, uh, we got one from Pia Kelly, I believe. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Again, how are they doing this? <laughs> I'm a French I've, man. Oh. I've mastered the art of timing, Sorg. No. I'm a wow. digital Jedi. Wow. They sent each other a script that they're following. Oh, I see. I we see. are unscripted. Yeah, right. Yeah, actually, I have a, I have a heel turn on Russell Fan plan Un- for later. Unscripted. Spoiler and alert. <laughs> Russell Fan. <laughs> Don't give away the dirt. Damn it. Sorry. Because apparently you're a cool right. promotion if you say dirt and uh <laughs> I broke the fourth and cheat. wall. And, and, and heat and heat and they have the stick and yeah. <laughs> I, I watched a lot of WCW this week. Oh, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Has anybody got that email <laughs> handy? Because apparently my computer does it. Oh, oh yeah, I do. Kelly. Oh, 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 I, I have it. it. You have it? Oh, All right, what go the for fuck? It. Go for it. Gmail just crashed on me. All right, I office. got it. Oh, no. I got to save. I got to save, man. All Pick right. The ball. Minute to win it. Put a question mark question in it. Mark? To the WMS Nation, what in the name of Magnum TA is TNA doing to deserve this mess? Uh, <laughs> to show you how it happened, Jeff Hardy yeah. was ready to go to war with Sting, and when it got started, Jeff Hardy was wasted and drunk when he entered the ring, and all of a sudden... Sting beats him in about 88 seconds to retain a TNA heavyweight title. With the incident creating an uproar, the company sent him home for being drugged in an event that's been worse than since the Legends of Wrestling back in 1999. I can't believe why TNA's pay-per-view fell down like a house of stacked cards. Why is Really? Book- you can't believe that? <laughs> I think we've been preaching it. Because I can. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, why? Why I can't is the bloody so getting bad? Into this this soon. The first blood <laughs> match between Hernandez and the Blueprint had had somebody spray mm. paint red blood instead of gushing out real blood. So there why are so is, many problems with that. So why is TNA falling down? It's because they mostly hold pay per views and impact tapings in the theme park in Florida. I don't think that's as related. No, WCW. That, that's not even the problem. No, no, no that's not even the no, beginning of the problem. Not anymore. Anymore. No, no. Um, WCW only held its Saturday night shows at Center Stage in Atlanta. But went anywhere for its other shows. Uh, that's not true. Uh, they, they, they were that's from, not true at they all. were from MGM for a while. They're, they're a long while. Yeah, yeah. But hey, at least... well, worldwide and Saturday night was very entertaining. <laughs> yes. 
that's true. I got to see people like uh, Lenny Lane mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, Shark Boy mm-hmm. before he was in TNA. And AJ Styles. Mm-hmm. Uh, WWE, on the other hand, tours all over the world. So why TNA? It's because they want to make it, uh, it the number one hit show on Spike. So now that cr- TNA's credibility goes down faster than WCW in 1999 and 2000, that's a very okay, good point. We'll be getting yeah. later. Uh, wow. One question still remains on our minds today. Do you think TNA should sell it to another company? He's yes. going all over the place. <laughs> That's the question the I would answer is yes. I would know in my mind right now. See you guys later, and good luck to Jeff Hardy on his search for rehab. Uh, I well, saw hey, uh, WWE offers free rehab to yeah, its former employees. Yeah. Uh, PRK, <laughs> aka Mister Techwood Drive. I saw this. Uh, I saw this one really funny. It was like a fake like news thing, uh, like you know those real fake ones that don't make any sense. But one was a uh, WWE buys TNA with food stamps. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you read Chris Jericho's book, that's basically like they did not spend much for WCW. Nope, not at all. Like and there's a because reason it didn't for that. come with a TV rights or anything. It was just yeah, basically yeah. the well, it's life. mostly it's mostly the TV rights was the issue because it, mm-hmm. it just completely devalued the company. Um, in can the... we can we get into something? I wanted to get into something real quick in the email. Okay, it's, go it doesn't matter too much, but I'm, I know we, I don't think we're gonna mention it later. The Hernandez blueprint Matt Morgan first blood match. Oh, oh um, I'm gonna mention the, this not, later. My problem wasn't even the fact that he squirted fake blood on him, and that's how they called it. There was a ref bump in a first blood match. The ref <laughs> fell down. Hernandez did his thing. Then another ref came out, saw the blood, <laughs> and this and and. Uh, and Hernandez won the match. Like, and, um, so the new referee didn't see that Hernandez scored fake blood on him. No, no like, one watches TNA, not even the people in the back. <laughs> like, if Hernandez would have woken up the Burn. Uh, referee, if Hernandez would have woken up the referee that got bumped, then it would have made a little bit of sense. Yeah, yeah. But uh, come on. There, there were just so many issues with that show last night. Like, Oh, yeah. fan. The His fake... name is Sean. Yeah. Oh, and he's calling, they're calling him Sean Hernandez now. That's out of nowhere. Yeah. That's that's just like, isn't he supposed to be some huge? Like, aren't they going for a real racist angle where he's like hardcore oh. lucha libre? Oh, I, and I read the I read the impact for, uh, spoilers. They are. Trust me. Oh, I know Jeez. they are because they're having him. They're having him pal up with. Uh, Sarita, Sarita and Mexican Trish Stratus. <laughs> really? Rosita's Whatever. Mexican Trish Stratus? Dude, look at her compared uh, side by side with Trish Stratus. They but look very, tiny. very similar. So is Trish. You've never seen her. She is a tiny person. I, w- I will say, she did measure up pretty equally next to Snooki, so that's a good point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, on that note. <laughs> Uh, well, that's actually all the fan mail we have for tonight, because a lot of stuff just kind of applies. To well, there was, that there is was one not more. True. Oh. oh, we have one from a big freaky. We have an oh, email. Oh, yes, here it is. It came in like within ten minutes of the beginning of the show. Yes. Uh, Very. Go. Who, uh, who has this? I have it. Um, okay. If Sork has any sense, he'll air my two minute rant on. No, 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 no. Wrestle fan. Wrestle uh, fan. Read on to more important matters. Yes. I, okay. On, on to more important matters. Jesus Christ, Russell fan. Read before I, I, you read. I jumped the, I jumped the gun. Watching Victory <laughs> Road the other night was exasperating. At first, I was salivating at the prospect of rubbing, T, rubbing TNA's great pit review in Mike and LB's face, although I did miss <laughs> RVD Anderson. Oh, boy. And then the main event starts. The thing that baffles me is how they handle things. Making the surprise of Sting a three-way dance with Rob Terry... And having him destroy Hardy at the bell and then having Terry versus Thing would have been better than what happened. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> hell, hell, the, sh- the show is in Florida. Why not send Flair, who's practically a god there, really? Um, I'll just so they I could have, meet I have the another idea ship. on how they could have fixed that. Since there was no winner between RVD and Anderson, who were fighting for the number one contendership, why not just have with. a way? Or a three way. Don't forget the fact that uh, Anderson won a number one contenders match uh, on Impact like three weeks ago. That wasn't a number one contenders match. That wasn't. I've looked at the tape. It was not. No, it was. The one with Angle and RVD? No, it wasn't. 
They it advertised they it as that. those three guys fight for the hell of it. People report, report in the spoilers it was the number one contenders match, but it wasn't. Hmm. Oh, that's stupid. Okay, just so they could lead the fans with an actual match. It's not like there's... It, there isn't a history of last minute replacements being sent out when something something happens to a talent. Normally I laugh when people talk about a following TNA, but I have to wonder about this one. How does TNA convince that the fans that they won't let this happen again? Oh, they won't. Now for a company doing things right. I helped I helped someone with a flat tire last night and missed most of the ROH on HTNet, but I did catch uh, O'Reilly versus Bennett in the top prospect twenty as well as the aftermath. Man, that was freaking awesome. I shivered after Kyle was slaughtered on the ramp. Uh, I'll mention that now. He's talking about the uh, ROH top pros- prospect tourney that was won by uh, Mike Bennett over Kyle O'Reilly. I was told it was a really great match. And uh, he had a confrontation. Af- uh, Bennett had a confrontation afterwards with Steve Carino, which I heard was also really good. Um, so you can go check that out. Um, um, on- go to visit ROHwrestling.com for that. Um, so who watched NXT last week? My God, that was yeah. funny. I hope, I hope and pray Yoshi and Saxon end up facing Santino and Kozlov on Raw. Well, I must go and prepare for NXT season five, episode two later. Let's talk about that. I want to talk about that. Um, because can we talk about poor, poor Darren Young. Oh God. No, no, no. Poor, poor Darren no, poor, Young. poor Titus O'Neil. But... Oh, fuck Titus O'Neil. If you're going to win, make it a win. All right. Poor what Darren it? Young. Oh, no, no, explain, please, please, please understand. Most of us don't watch NXT. What are you guys no. talking about? Okay, no, no. I, no. Well, I was NXT talking about how Titus season. O'Neil's paired with Hornswoggle. Mm-hmm. But this Dude, is the thing that I hate the about the greatest NXT. pairing of all time. Uh, we we revealed like the roster. That's like being paired with Laycool. <laughs> Mike, let let let, uh, let let our soul fan finish. Here. Sorry, sorry. Well, we revealed last week uh, during the show the the rookies and the pros for NXT, which was ridiculous. But there's even a more ridiculous part about this. The winner of NXT Season 5, the prize this year is, they get a spot on NXT Season 6. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. It's like a, it's like a wormhole <laughs> that will never end. WrestleFan, I, th- I think what this basically means is, NXT Season 5 will probably end a few weeks after, say, WrestleMania. Ironically, the time when WWE does their spring cleaning. <laughs> so I'm assuming that the winner of NXT Season 5 just gets to not get fired. <laughs> that I'm, I'm guessing but that's pretty much what it's going to be. I, I think that, I think, okay, they're going to do that. They're going to have NXT Season 6, and I bet NXT 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And twelve is gonna get to it's gonna be to get spots on NXT thirteen. This is ridiculous. <laughs> we have tough enough for Christ's sake. That would be pretty funny. Yeah, but tough enough at least on Monday night on USA. All and right. Tough it, enough is a different animal. Tough yeah. enough is going to be people actually training in a gym, like learning yeah. to take yeah. bumps. Some yeah. of them actually learning. Some of them pretend. It's, it's to hopefully if they go with the old formula, it's going to be more reality show. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's where they go. And, with. That's and the now, just now on just NXT, they don't give show out. in the preview. It looks like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and now on NXT, they don't give out contracts anymore. Now you can win a tag team title shot with your pro. Yeah. Which I, I, I hate. I don't want to see Johnny Curtis and our truth do anything together ever. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, well, I to think be fair, you don't want to see our truth do anything. The, ever. I think that that, wraps, that wraps all of our fan mail, guys. That is all yeah. of the fan mail. All for right, this Russell fan, hit us up with the indie minute. The indie minute for this week uh, is a pretty stacked one. We're going to start off with uh, Chikara and their big event coming up: King of Trios, April fifteenth, sixteenth, and seventeenth in uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, at the old ECW Arena. Um, a plethora of teams have already been announced. Only one more team left to be announced, and I'm being to- and I'm told uh, this w- the, the, it will be announced Thursday, March 17th. The final team to be announced. Um, I'm going to run through the teams real quick. Uh, just announced today, uh, Team Minnesota uh, of Eric Cannon, Darren Corbin, and the One Two Three Kid making his. Uh, Triumphant return, the one, two, three kid. I love this. It's the picture of the one, two, three kid from like '93. <laughs> that that, that is going to be something time. to see, folks. If you you that the, these are the reasons why you need to check out the King That's of Trio. We they've, last had, year. they've had Glacier, 
They've yes. had D'Lo Brown before, and now the one, two, three kid. This is top of the <laughs> uh, The spectral envoy of uh, Ultramantis Black, Frightmare, and Hollow Wicked. Uh, 3.0A of uh, Jagged, uh, Shane Matthews, and El Generico. From, uh, from Ring of Honor fame. From Ring of Honor fame. Uh, the Maximos, Jose and Joel Maximo, teaming with their old partner, The Amazing Red, TNA star. Um, Team Osaka Pro of, Koto- of Kotoji Harada and Ultimate Spider Jr., uh, who does look like a mini Spider-Man. Uh, Team Michinoku Pro of uh, Great, Sasuke- Great Sasuke, the legendary Great Sasuke. Um, Dick Togo, who is making his uh, final run of appearances before retirement. And Dick Jinsei Togo was Sinjaki, also a former member of Kaintai. Former member of Kaintai. And Jinsei Sinjaki, uh, known for those of WWF fame as Hakushi. Oh. Oh, shit. And, wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, Team Australia of uh, Percy Cable and Tamla Williams. Not a lot is known about uh, this, uh, this trio. Um, Tim Dons and two members of the, of the Bruder Shaft of Crestus uh, will be involved. Uh, Kizarni <laughs> teaming with the Batiri of Oberian and Kodama. Uh, Mike Quackenbush, Jigsaw, and Manami Toyota making her uh, Philadelphia debut. Uh, the throwbacks of Dasha Hatfield, yeah. Sugar Dunkerton, and Matt Classic. Oh, on, hey, by the way, WrestleFan, WrestleFan, have you heard the rumor of maybe an NWA title match between Matt Classic and Cole Cabana? That would be amazing. That would be something to see, definitely. <laughs> Uh, no, spo- uh, I'm not going to spoil that. Nope, uh, nope. The Soul Touches. No, no, just just look up Matt Classic. You'll figure it out. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. The Soul Whoa. Touches of Acid Jazz, Marche Rocket, and Willie the Bomb. Oh, it's more Richardson. like the Kid Touchers. Oh. What? Whoa. <laughs> I said they look Whoa. more like the Kid Touchers. Uh, they're, they're from, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, the Osirian. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? No I argument know. now that you actually look at them. <laughs> I was looking at them, Chachi. Hey, hey, they were they were in Cleveland when we went to the show, and no, no and nobody, no. and none of them and touched no Russell fan. Got touched. So. The Osirian, the Osirian portal of Amasis, the, Hirakon, and Ophidian. Uh, Osirian portal, the uh, latest YouTube sensation, of course, from that day. Very video. true. The Osirian uh, portal is is the reason you should go check oh, out. Oh yes, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> cop button, man. Cop Someone's button. Cop. Cop I don't button. think he has one of those on his phone. Yeah, he doesn't have one of those, so yeah. He's on um, his phone. Oh, I didn't, I didn't He's on his Mike. phone. Someone's dying. Yeah. For those that don't see, uh, you also should check out the Osirian Portal's uh, Hypnotism Part 2, oh, including a special uh, interesting appearance by Mia Yim uh, doing a dive off of the top rope onto like six men. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, there's a, there's a joke in there somewhere. I uh, I'm not gonna. She's a nice lady. Uh, the colony, uh, fire ant, green ant, and soldier ant. Which is the second fi- reason you should go to see King of Trees. Definitely. They, can, they made it to the finals ant. last year. They're hoping to uh, clinch it again this year. Uh, and finally, the team of Fist of Icarus, Chuck Taylor, and friend of the show Johnny mm-hmm. Gargano, who is scheduled to join us next week, fresh off of his uh, Japan tour. Uh, if all is going well. Of course, I'll best go out to him. We did get a tweet from Johnny Gargano uh, <laughs> saying all is well with him uh, shortly after stuff that's going on in Japan on Friday. Yeah, I, I'm told so. that the when uh, Dragon USA Dragon Gate USA did the tour of Japan, mm-hmm. um, it was in a different it was a different side of Japan. Good. So they were, um, but everyone apparently there is there and is safe. But I'm so, I'm, um, I'm sure everything's still crazy for them. So I you know I hope all is well there and he gets back you know uh, pretty easily. So yeah, and hope, hopefully we get a chance to talk to him next week as scheduled, and uh, you know, maybe get an interesting perspective on what's going on over there. So definitely. Um, so yeah, that's King of Trios 2011, April 15, 16, and 17 and, and in for Philadelphia. Those geeks out there, you notice the logo there? It looks kind of familiar. Stan Bush of the Touch Fame will be performing Indeed. at the fan club. My God, I wish I could go to this this year. Uh, but I may have to. Yeah. Also, to also, uh, also announced for the fan uh, conclave. If you are brave enough. And if you are strong enough, uh, they will have the opportunity at the fan conclave. You can attempt to uh, body slam Tursus of the BDK. <laughs> Which Wait, Silent Ninja's going to be there? Silent, <laughs> Silent Ninja. 
He was on Silent the awesome Ninja is Tursus. I keep Tursus asking is Silent him. Ninja. I keep asking if he's coming to the Comic Con or Night of Legends, but he keeps not saying anything about it. So that was really weird. Well, uh, so. All right, Sork, what else? Why we would he say anything about it? He's the Silent Ninja. Oh, he was on Awesome oh, Cast this week. Oh, what? Um, Burn. What else is going on in uh, indie news there, sir? Well, in uh, local indie news, uh, coming up this weekend, Saturday, March 19th, uh, in Clearfield, Pennsylvania, Combat in Clearfield for IWC. Uh, the card has been finalized, I believe. Um, Justin Idol, friend of the show, taking on Will Esquire. Uh, Brittany Forrest versus Sarah Feeney in an IWC women's match. Uh, Shane Taylor going one-on-one with Kato. Uh, the Gambino Brothers versus Logo Sh- Logan Shulo and Tyler Stone versus Chess Flexer and friend of the sh- er, Friend of the show, Chess Flexor, and friend of the show, David R. Demira, mm-hmm. in a three-way oh, tag team match. Wow. Uh, Super Indy 10 qualifying match, Shima Zion versus Facade. Um, for the IWC Super Indy title, uh, Super Hentai versus Matthew Justice. Uh, number one contenders match for the tag team titles, the founding fathers of uh, Dean Radford and Dennis Gregory, taking wow. on John Bolin and uh, TNA star Tommy Mercer, a.k.a. Crimson. Uh, and in the main event, uh, big league John McChesney defends the IWC World Heavyweight Championship against, uh, well, both friends of the show, but also friend of the show, Jason Gorey. Uh, so that's going to be a good event. Bell time, 7.30. Uh, general admission 10. Ringside Man. tickets, $20. Clearfield PA, PA. Go to IWCWrestling.com for more information. And if you're going up there, uh, uh, there is a giant burger at one of the restaurants. I have to look it up. Uh, so I'm not going. I'm, Don't I'm call not. it a cataclysm. I'll be at the Pittsburgh Power Game. Yeah, um, <laughs> go power. Yeah, Power Game. Power, power. Oh, wow. You got the touch. Anyhow, no, 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 you got done. the power. Russell fan, you have an email to uh, go over now. I do. Yeah, um, Bobby F J Town sent the A O N. That oh, that is true. He did send the A O N report. Thank which, you once again, Bobby F J Town. Which means that is send... part of the indie minute. Or the... I, I I was I, I I'll jump to that now, but yes. Uh, breaking news: uh, Justin Starr uh, defeating Randall Failway on March 12th to become the new AON heavyweight champion. Um, big news there. Uh, Psycho Fusion. Yes. 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 What? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. What? Yeah. Yes. Hey. No. Uh, Psycho Fusion. Debuted a new mask with a meaner look, but was it really him? Someone appeared at the end of the match in Psycho's old mask in his match with C4. Uh, Psychotic Assassins versus the Cartel. Uh, Manchild suffered a left knee injury and was out of the match for a good five or ten minutes, uh, but came back guns ablazing and double speared the Cartel. Psycho Assassins retained their titles. Good for Manchild. Friend of the. Unknowingly, friend of the show, <laughs> man, child. Man, child, no. Unno- hey, he will be friend of the friend show. Of the show. <laughs> uh, and then Kess Edison's niece, Emmy Carmichael, was abducted by the cartel and forced to go out on a date with Bam Bam Hassel. Man, allegedly. I miss the day when wrestling had abductions in real show. Oh wait, that was TNA two years ago. Um, Dude, that was TNA like the- a year ago. Dude. But nobody cares about Samoa Joe got kidnapped by ninjas. Yeah, something like that. But no, it's a Samoa. Well, no, one cares. Where has he uh, um, Yeah. And then finally, the big news, I guess, uh, C4 was called by WE and offered a tr- either a trial match or to do some work for Raw. So, there he is. Uh, good, uh, good news out there for C4 of AON Wrestling fame. If you want to go visit AON Wrestling, go to uh, AONWrestling.com. Go check them out and show them some love. Tell them the Wrestling Mayhem show sent you. That's right. That's right. Uh, and, and now moving to the end of uh, the Indie Minute is uh, <laughs> ROH, Ring of Honor. We mentioned them earlier, but um, they have cards coming up uh, March 18th and March 19th. Uh, 18th in Plymouth, Massachusetts for Defy or Deny. Um, the main event being the Defy or Deny elimination match. Of uh, ROH World Champion Roger Strong versus El Generico versus Homicide versus Jay Briscoe. Uh, the rules being if Strong wins, neither El Generico, Jay Briscoe, nor Homicide can ever challenge for the ROH World title as long as Strong is champion. And if El Generico, Jay Briscoe, or Homicide win that win, the winner will face the champion 
on April 2nd in Atlanta with the title on the line. And I'm told that will be an eye pay per view. So uh, def- definitely check that out. Uh, World TV title match of Christopher Daniels versus uh, the prodigy Mike Bennett. Um, Davey Richards versus Claudio Castagnoli. Uh, TJ Perkins versus Chris Hero, and much more from that show. Uh, that's uh, in Plymouth, Massachusetts on the 18th. And then also on the 19th, uh, returning to Manhattan, New York, for Manhattan Mayhem, uh, March 19th. The main event being for the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship, Roderick Strong defending against Eddie Edwards of the American Wolves. In a dream tag team match, uh, the Kings of Wrestling, Chris Hero and Claudio Castagnoli, taking on uh, Homicide and Hernandez of LAX fame. Uh, so that's definitely going to be an interesting match. Um, uh, in a pure rules match, um, Davey Richards versus Christopher Daniels, um, J.M. Mark Briscoe versus the All Night Express, and uh, much more. That's um, March 19th, uh, New York City, New York, uh, Manhattan Mayhem 4, uh, bell time 4 o'clock at the Manhattan Center. Go to ROHWrestling.com for more information to get your tickets. And that is all I have. For this um, week in the something I just noticed just looking at the site and actually right here. Uh, oh, oh, wait, flash crash. Um, the, uh, Honor flash takes, crash. The, you mentioned the Atlanta, Georgia. Honor Takes Center Stage is the next iPay-Per-View. April 1st and 2nd, both shows, $20. So nice. pretty cool deal there if you want to try out an iPay-Per-View. Uh, mm-hmm. Now, you buy these. they uh, You you can stream them uh, pretty much any time after, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you have a window? It's Dave. Because if I, Dave Lagana is accurate, then you can watch them over and over. Well, again, let me check like with that good DVR. buddy. <laughs> um, yeah, one but, of the, one of the, one of the few wrestling pay per views today that where you won't watch your money back. Yes. Uh, well, like well, for instance, I know uh, we are busy uh, April first with a, a show we're going to, and I think I'm actually working April second on ironically an internet show, uh, wrestling show that's that's going to be launching soon, and. Uh, and uh, I'm interested, you know, definitely interested in this. If if I can get replay on that, that would be fantastic. Um, so uh, so go check that out. GoFightLive.tv for more information on that on mm-hmm. that show. So and, that's and the the matches, uh, some of the matches for that card. Uh, the whoever is the world champion will take on Christopher Daniels on Excellent. the first night, as well as a, a tag title match, uh, Kings of Wrestling against the world's greatest tag team, Ooh. and then. Um, I, be, I don't believe any... Or one match is announced for the second night. It'll be the American Wolves against the world's greatest tag team. Excellent. Excellent. That's the Indie Minute, ladies and gentlemen. We should stop calling it the Indie Minute. That's kind of an inside joke at this point. How about um, let's do the Indie uh, fourth indie, of an hour? The Indie <laughs> Minutes? The Indie Half Hour. <laughs> Not a half hour. We could hour. just call it the Indie it. segment. Well, you know what? We always get to say we don't cover enough Indie. And well, we, <laughs> Sorg, we can call it the Glorified Indie Minute. The, no, yes, yes, the... <laughs> no, you are not comparing my segment to TNA. Minute. You are not. <laughs> oh, I missed something there. I'm glad I haven't been watching that lately. Um, Let's just we're going to be right back. Yeah. And uh, there's going to be some Mayhemies and our there's, spiffiness there's be some will awards. come out. There will be some wars handed out. I can't wait to get Hypothetically mine. over the internet. <laughs> we'll be right back. Here's a little peek of what you got on gold. Go by the app. We'll be right back. Get Mayhem up. show. The glorified hole. Wow. <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. the first show. We're doing I a thought, start. I thought it was Hey, fun. hey, I don't care who started. I'm ending it. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I will turn this podcast around. That's right. I tell you what, I don't, I'm not going to accept it. Sword, is sword, an asshole, man. Fucking, don't need to call me out like that. A speech. <laughs> My my favorite part was after that, and you spelled speech wrong. <laughs> and I... so we're here with uh, Doug Bradley, um, most notably uh, Pinhead from Hellraiser. Uh, I'm a member of the Screen Actors Guild of America, and I've just advocated illegally downloading films. It'd be called Throwball. Because <laughs> it has nothing whatsoever to do with feet. That is very true. I wish you all the health in the world, but sort iTunes out, please. Find more of this and other shows at SorgatronMedia.com. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is the Mayhemi Awards for 2010. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is your night. Mm-hmm. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. No, 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 that's hide the wrong award. That's the wrong award. That's the I mean, wrong awards. Uh, of course, this is the night where we honor the the year that was in Wrestling Mayhem show for 2010. Even though it's the middle of March of 2011, but that's okay. It's been a rough year so far. Uh, of course, uh, it's been it's been a year of awesome. Uh, the committee was headed this year by 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 newer fan turned host of the show. The uh, the young buck, the wrestle fan from Corpus Christi, Texas, who is of course yeah. dressed yes, for I this did. evening. I I dr- I did dress for the occasion. I was the leader of the uh, Mayhem Academy. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. It's a very scientific uh, group that we have formed um, uh, to uh, to uh, derive of all things mayhem and all things wrestling. You are really bad at reading the teleprompter. Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, you're no rock. I, I'm no James Franco. But no, and I'm not wearing a dress. But well, let's get right into again. You know, please, you know, tell us again the nominees who we had to pick up, and and please read read from the envelope, sir. And the well, winner is we're gonna start it off tonight. We uh we pride ourselves in our interviews here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Mm-hmm. Um, interviewed a lot of great people. Uh, this past year of 2010, it was a great year. For all the people interviewed, um, our friends of the show, as we like to deem them. Uh, so your nominees for best interview of the year are Johnny Gargano, Ryan Mitchell, Marshall the Bull Gambino, Cody Diener, Mike Quackenbush, Jason Gorey, <laughs> the best around, Chris Maverick, Jimmy DeMarco, Sarah Del Rey, Logan Shulo, the Chikara Fan Conclave, Robert and Pam Allen, Joe Dombrowski and Bobby Beverly and Bobby Shields, Puppet the Psycho Dwarf, mm. Butterbean, SJK, Johnny Cashmere, <laughs> Joe Dombrowski, oh my God. Jimmy DeMarco and Michael Pesai, Jerry Sapp, Jimmy DeMarco and Chess He's Flexer, still going. and Joe Dombrowski. His Ooh. last one? Yeah, yeah I need a drink. I need a drink. And the and, winner, please. And your winner and in winner this is. totally realistic envelope, your winner is Mr. Johnny Gargano from Wrestling Woo! Mayhem Show 202. Way back he in the beginning the of the year, Chambers. he was the first one to endeavor to do a video interview with us when we started this a year ago. He was he was breaking boundaries. He was he's breaking like, boundaries. He's like Morgan Freeman. That's right. What? He's like Morgan Freeman. We have to ask him about that. Of course, uh, you know he's very busy over in Japan. Uh, he's like he's like Cali Berry. Did not have, did, did not was not able to get any contact with him. Uh, but again, we're scheduled to have him next week. We'll definitely ask him about uh, receiving his mayhemy and and ask how very very proud he'll be. Um, uh, oh, moving on to the next category, please, wrestle fan. Well, me and Mad Mike know personally that. One of the greatest ways to uh, get yourself known here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show is through the emails and also through the voicemails, as we recently endeavored. Uh, I have become a co-host, well, technically a co-host, because of my email. Same with Matt and Mike. And, I am uh, officially a co-host. <laughs> a physical <laughs> co-host, yeah. Three yes. times. It, Three times. I got yeah. you. I got you. Wow. And we have the nominees for Best Contributor of the Year. The nominees are The Riz, Boo, Boo, Sean Burkhead. I'm neutral. The on Frenchman, that one. P- the Frenchman Pierre Kelly. Oh. 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 Look, look at me smoking a cigarette. I don't know. And, uh, <laughs> You're too young. Big Freaky. Boo. <laughs> Fuck DNA. No, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and the winner for this year's, as we see, a very similar looking envelope. <laughs> but who cares? Uh, Big Freaky, ladies and gentlemen. Boo. That's the contributor of the year. I think he's like something, kind of our first heel voicemailer. <laughs> Well, I, and of course. He's uh, dedicated to his crap. Big Freaky could not be here today. And physically or anything, uh, but he did submit in big, big freaky fashion an acceptance speech via voicemail. Here it is, in its entirety. 
Hello, Mayhem Nation! What is going on, my tofu loving friends? To- what? What? Kung I think he, he either said kung fu or tofu. It is I, your Mayhem Award winning contributor, Big Freaky. And I want you to know that just because I'm now an award-winning journalist in the field of wrestling, (laughs) I will not become an asshole like Michael Cole. This is where someone says, because you already are. But, uh... (laughs) Because you already are. uh, (laughs) I really have to thank my friends on Facebook who voted for me, and the people from my church who I ordered to vote for me. (laughs) He stuffed the ballot! (laughs) Fatality. It was a fair ballot. But um, Sorg's never going to let me go this long again. But since nope. this is my <laughs> moment <laughs> of glory, I would like to take this <laughs> moment to clear up something with one DJ Lunchbox. Uh-oh. Keep it, keep it going. Keep it going. Now, I was going to try to let this pass, but your impudent <laughs> attitude pisses me off. Impudent? impudent? Okay, Lunchbox. Impotent? You disrespected me all those many months ago. So I turned down the level. One, you said that you... Okay, one, I did not threaten you. Two, you said Holy that if I didn't us. hurt you, you would talk about all that indie wrestling, and you didn't. I mean, you run down, uh, you know, the NWA this guy is from angry. the show like three years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Does he actually listen to the show? And you couldn't even watch so. the show, the link that I freaking sent you. We've just upgraded to the indie keep, 35 keep playing, minute keep playing it. I mean, you heard it off of the freaking website as you were reading it. How disrespectful is that? Wow. Whoa. And hey, then it gets you keep said that I'm going to rape Sorg, his wife, and his what? cat. What? And I, and I completely wow. called what? you a That's raper right. earlier. Fuck, and I would never hurt animals. Wow. Two, it's not, it wouldn't be rape if I decided to engage with that with Sorg and Mrs. Sorg. It would be sodomy. <laughs> because they will like it. What the hell? Oh, oh, oh. What the hell is going on here? To do people to do freaky things. What? <laughs> I get people to do freaky things. Well, I'm sure freaky is going to be the first show. Wrong, what the fuck so is I just like to close this by thanking the Mayhem Nation. A win for Big Freaky is a win for the Indie Wrestling Nation. Proof that you care about the Indies. Wow, I still think he's a kid so, toucher. So wait, if this is proof we care about the indies, wow. does that he can shut the fuck up now? <laughs> wow, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> that was the, that that your was wife? the scariest right? acceptance right? speech ever. I think I'm getting a restraining order. Uh, <laughs> I think we have the Melissa Leo of our Mayhemies Holy this year. Crap. Wow. Someone needed to Kanye that guy. No, no, no. <laughs> Yo, 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 Freaky, I'm going to let you finish. But Riz was the greatest contributor of all time. Of all time. Of all time, baby. Wait, wait, you just that... kanye meets Dusty. That's fine. Sure, that's That's, awesome. that's, that's right fine. In. That's amazing. Sure. Kanye sure. Rose. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The guy that was addressed in this voicemail, uh, uh, DJ Lunchbox, yes, uh, your response ahead. to this acceptance speech. Sure, uh, I... Did he threaten to rape your wife? Did that happen? Yes. And my no. cat. No, no. I'm you said sure said you said sure that he, he would rape his, him and his wife and his cat. I'm pretty sure he said he Wait, wouldn't he attack a cat. He doesn't do that to animals. But it wouldn't be rape for Sorg and Missy because they would like it. I'm like we're deconstructing this. <laughs> I, this uh, is I, the this is the what? biggest turn one of these mayhemies is gone. Wow. To be fair, it's it's all gonna go downhill after the mayhem is because then we talk TNA. And we're no, yeah, that's true, uh, that's true. All right, all right, that was enough for that one. Uh, just uh, oh. we have one. All right, we got two more to get to survive. We should have we should have had some playoff music for Freaky in yeah. the middle of that. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I didn't have any that's really strange. Uh, I don't know what just happened. Uh, well, next, uh, Russell fan, please, please, God, give us get get us to our next right. uh, uh, next right. presentation. Our next our next award is for those fans. That uh, haven't uh, are not co-host, unlike me apparently, but um, also have made uh, countless appearances on the Mayhem Show in one way or another. Um, they have uh, been great contributors, even though that was the name of a different award. But uh, they are crowned uh, new Mayhemers, and uh, the nominees for new Mayhemer of the year go to Riz.
and finish. Hot Wheels. Boo. Pew, pew. Stop booing everyone. <laughs> boo Prince, someone. Prince Magus. Awesome penguin video lately, by the way, on his YouTube. Indeed. And also uh, AJ. <laughs> and your winner for new mayhem of the year goes to the Ritz. Boo. There he Boo. is. The Riz is on the hey, line with us. Riz, yay, Riz. No, I'm kidding. I, uh, I can't. Are you sure all. that's not uh, Hall of Famer Drew Carey? <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. I don't have you set up for the full screen, I realize. Uh, but Riz, you are here to accept your mayhemy in person via Skype. Um, uh, how do you feel? Uh, it took me about what? Two, three years to get one of these, and uh, it well earned. Feels good. It feels really good. Excellent. And thank you for to all who voted for me. I'm not gonna sit here and say like, I'm not gonna, <laughs> or you know, just scream out and send it like. You're not someone gonna else claim to rape my, my cat no. or anything. Right. Okay. Exactly. That's good. That's, good. Wow. that's a good turn. That's a good. Yes. Let's get away from that. Do you, not, do you want to fight me, Riz? <laughs> That's a different story. Okay. So I'm just gonna, I'm hey, gonna listen. Just, a happy listen moment for me. Okay. just just so because not... I beat you at Rocky, all right? Don't let that carry over into our personal all right. lives. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, this could have been a contender. Could have been a contender. <laughs> hey, Jim. He's a wrecking machine. He's a wrecking machine. <laughs> oh, and also, I'm winning. You are winning. Oh, oh you can't really see Charlie it. Sheen oh. back there. Yeah, There's I just realized that. It's the winning thing. Tremendous. Winning. Thank you, Riz. <laughs> for contributing to the man. Thank you to Big Man. Everybody, yes, yes, give her the Riz. Yeah, for the yes, Riz. without rape. All in right, it. we yeah. have one more mayhem to get through without incident. Two. Please, oh, two. 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 We have two. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Yes. Well, we we have our contributors. We okay. have our new Mayhemers. Okay. But yes. there's a special award. I think it's the greatest award that everyone on this show strives for. It's the Best On Air Talent Award of the <clears throat> Year. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I am I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Wait, I'm sit down, Chachi. Sit down, Chachi. Sit down, Chachi. Ready? Uh, all right, Russell oh, fan. Get through, so get through this. Wait, I, this. How do you uh, uh, The nominees... <laughs> Are the Sorgatron. That's me. Yeah. 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 The DJ Lunchbox. Boo. Yeah. Big Freaky's favorite. The Mad Mike. Boo. Yeah! Boo. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! Is that your speech? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> what the hell? I'm already, I mean, come on, Sorg. This is like. I, I'm ready. I'm I'm thanking everyone. Oh, anyways, next, and, next. And finally, the Russell fan. Yay. Boo! Yay. You're a oh, child man. and a fetus. You don't even know which phone. <laughs> but quit trolling. <laughs> what? Russell fan. Wow. And the winner in this pretty <clears throat> little envelope for <clears throat> On Air Talent of the Year goes to... <clears throat> the Russell fan... What? what? Yeah! Yeah! Bullshit! Yeah. 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 Bullshit! You guys love me! You really love me! <laughs> we fucking hate you! Are you, are you feeling <laughs> faint, sir? <laughs> he has the vapors. He's from Texas. I think he's crying. <laughs> no. No. I'm a man. I don't cry. Um... But what? I would like to thank oh, fuck. everyone. Real that... men try, Russell fan. Look let at him, Sean let him talk, Claire. Mike. Let, let him have his moment. All right, fine, fine. I apologize. I, would, I, concede I, I would like to thank everyone who voted for me. <laughs> Which is I no would one like in to this thank, room. I would like to thank my mother because without her, I, I, this wouldn't be happening. I don't mean it's because she birthed me. I mean it's because I probably wouldn't have as many fans. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to thank all of the mayhem for this great award. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that was rigged. 
That was rigged. Yeah. That yeah. was that was bullshit. He hey, was... Uh, hey, Sork, Sork. Hey, you're um, a wrestle who, fan. I'm real who, happy who for you votes? and y'all. Who counted the votes? I'm just curious. Uh, uh, wrestle fan. Well, wrestle no, fan. actually, uh, Google counted the votes because it was a Google Doc. <laughs> and, and who it's... owns Google? That would be wrestle fan. Oh. oh. See, I break this shit down. <laughs> I did my research. Okay. Rigged. Okay. Well, okay. We got one more. We got one more. Uh, oh God, let's get through I this. You, I believe you, Wrestle Fan. I voted for you. <laughs> we had best moment of the year. I, I, how about, I, this was a user submitted category. Wrestle Fan, can you read us some of the contenders? I, I voted for Sorg. Thank you, thank you <laughs> sir. Well, um, some of the uh, some of the contenders, I believe, were uh, Big Freaky did get some votes for different uh, different reasons. <laughs> Um, he was one of the main vote getters, but they were all different categories, Listen, so they only counted as one. I don't care if he actually did win. Cat? We're not giving him another award. <laughs> <laughs> I am not listening to another rape fest. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, but the, you should really turn off the podcast during our TNA talk. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> well, no, the, see, that's people that actually deserve rape. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, anyways. Let's get back to the award, please. <laughs> but the the winner... For most memorable moment of the year goes to Sorg getting called an asshole yeah! by Puppet oh. Oh. Go Sorg. That sure did it's happen. Your birthday. It's your birthday. Mayhem moment of the millennium. Speech. Yay. Speech. Well, I think, uh, well, Speech. we do have uh, on the line, uh, straight out of, I don't know, Midgetville or something. Uh, Puppet the Angry Dwarf is on the line. <laughs> Sir, you just won the Mayemi for Moment of the Year, unfortunately. Uh, how, hey, how do you, hey, what's hey, up? What's hey. up, man? This is, this is Puppet from formal, <laughs> formerly from Half Pint Brawlers. What's up, guys? Hey, 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 Drunk Puppet. How you doing? Hey, you hey fuck it? you, Sorg. Oh. You're a fucking <laughs> you asshole calling me. And I'm not a midget, man. I'm a I midget. Didn't. Okay. <laughs> you did it right. I appreciate this award, guys. It's okay. For real. O- okay. I- I'm glad you appreciate the award. Listen, isn't it time for you to go back I'm under glad. the ring now? <laughs> oh. I-, I-, I believe it's time don't, for you to. Don't return. you have to manage Titus O'Neil tonight? <laughs> you guys are you guys are all over the place, man. You're fucking crazy, man. <laughs> This is already going better than the actual interview. Um, hey, fuck yeah. you, Sword, man. You're a fucking asshole, dude. Okay, you know what? I'm cutting you off, man. <laughs> fucking no, man. You yeah, fucking... Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. You're gone. I should have done that the first time. Oh, All shit. right. There you go. Um, there you go. Wow. Oh, well, this was, was the Mayhemies. Wow, man. Thank you, everybody that participated, everybody that voted. Congratulations. What a tiny little asshole that I guy know, was. Right? I know, right? Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, thank you. Uh, congratulations to Riz, Big Freaky. Um, Do you really want to congratulate You know him? what? Wrestle Bobby F. Maytown pull, pulls up a very good point, Sorg. Hmm. WrestleFan used the same envelope for every award. <laughs> I think he, that's not I true. Think he rigged it. They all have the I same look. I think he rigged it. I think he rigged it. Well, yeah, we'll put up the pie charts like we did last year. But right, we, great stuff okay. going on. Um, I, <laughs> that was the Mayhemies, our dress-up time of the year. Now let's get back to the wrestling. The wrestling. The wrestling. The wrestling. I, there, I understand wrestling. some really fantastic stuff happened this week. Uh, oh. <laughs> speaking uh, of midgets. Speaking of midgets. Where do we, where do we <clears> want to start? Well, let's start at the first thing start. on the list on our rundown. Uh, Daphne released statement made to Diva oh. Dirt. Yes, <laughs> yes. She uh, she did get that removed thing. from the uh, roster page, uh, which kind of confirmed the release. Uh, she posted a tweet that said, "Quote: Yesterday, my picture was taken down off of the TNA roster page. My contract expires today, and TNA did not renew it. I do not know if it has anything to do with it, but I have made a workers' comp claim against them due to injuries I've sustained in the ring." And my lawyer said to not go into any more detail. Thanks, Daph. So, yeah, um, apparently she is, uh, uh, I, I believe, pr- pretty much suing, practically, um, TNA. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is- for the injuries that she has sustained in the past. I saw an update. Um, apparently, there were issues uh, between Daphne and the company regarding her medical expenses being covered after she suffered a concussion taking a bump through a barbed wire board at the October 2009 Bound for Glory pay-per-view event. The issue had been brewing for some time, which explains why she hadn't been used as of late. Wow, that's... 
That's... Fuck yeah, do that shit, Daphne. Get that paper. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's why we're talking. You know I mean, we, we, we really we... have to blame for this? Who's that? We have to blame Rosie fucking lot of love. <laughs> that's what we have. No, because no, Daphne no, we have was to be, getting we have a push on TV. That, that Daphne is was getting oh, a push on TV. want to blame everything on the fat then, bitches. And then she had, then Rosie Lotta Love had a debut match on a not even seen explosion, mm -hmm. and she like gave Daphne a concussion. Yeah, no, and but my, her off TV. We, ha we don't have to. No, we don't have to blame Rosie Lotta Love. We have to thank Rosie Lotta Love because this is Daphne finally showing the world and showing TNA that this whole medical expenses and not paying properly for things. Is not going to be put up with in TNA, and I, I yeah. congratulate her for that, and I hope she succeeds in her lawsuit. We've seen we've seen a lot of stuff about how they're treated and, and everything, and 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 with the dangerous stuff, you know. Uh, I mean, I wasn't Daphne one that they they threw a toaster at her head or something, and, and she was like bleeding. I mean, it's just dangerous yeah. stuff. I mean, it, with these with these. Uh, and and, and she's and no you know about. that's that's good. I I remember actually I watched a video I forgot somewhere on YouTube. It was of the um, exact incident uh, that, that's mentioned uh, during that match at Bound for Glory mm -hmm. where she got the concussion. Uh, she also I think broke her arm in that match or did something with her arm. And you know they checked on her after the match and they called an ambulance. But from the way that you know TNA looks like it has been going as of late, I pretty, they practically didn't do anything else. Mm -hmm. Other than that, which is really sad. Mm. Definitely, definitely. TNA. Um, so, and TNA is oh, not yeah. not just that going down. Uh, uh, some people saw the pay per view. I believe Riz, mm. you saw it live. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, this is there's two sides of this. Uh, the title match. Um, uh, with, explain what happened in the title match since you did see it live there, Riz. Mm. Mm. Uh, well, let's see. Jeff Hardy. Both people come out. Introduction. Mm -hmm. Then let's see. Bischoff, Bischoff comes out. Bischoff gets punched. Well, first they he said that the match is gonna be no yeah, it's a no DQ. And no count Then he outs. gets punched. Then, like, Sting starts throwing punches at Hardy, and then hits a reverse DDT, mm -hmm. and ends the match there. It took about what. 30 seconds for me to tell. That's about how <laughs> fast well, it took for that match to end. Geez. Don't forget, there was about a minute of Jeff Hardy pretending to throw his shirt out to the crowd. Yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot about that moment. I, I tried to forget. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that, understand. That, that match was shit. That, yeah. that, it, pissed, it pissed a lot of people off, too. I, I noticed from... That's it from like Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff. It pissed a whole bunch of people off. And that, that and me being one of them. That, that, yeah. That's ridiculous. Report, it pissed Sting off. It pissed yeah, reports Sting off. reports what, apparently what? showed that um after the pay per view went off the air and probably during the uh before the pay per view went off the air, the fans were chanting bullshit. Mm -hmm. A lot of them were very pissed off about the event. And it's just, you know, it's TNA pretty much, you know, Going up and giving their fans a whole, you know, up like yours. The camera, showed, the camera showed Sting when he was going into the back. And then he, you can see, he turns around, starts talking to the fans. He goes, I, he either goes, I, I know, or I'm pissed off too. No, I know, no he, said, like he said, he said, I agree. I agree. Yeah. I agree. And it's, like, uh, and it's very audible that you can hear. He thought yeah. the reports, bullshit. the reports do say that Sting was very professional about the whole thing in the back before the match. Mm -hmm. But he was obviously very upset afterwards mm -hmm. and very annoyed by the whole fact. It, it doesn't make any sense. Like, Bischoff comes out, no. calls it, what, 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 he said he called it no hold I'll be, hard. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think Bischoff just did that to try to stall for time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's the other question. How, how close did the show end uh, towards towards the, the end time? It was 1040. Five, I believe. Which is Four, early. Which is early for, for TNA, technically. I mean, yes. well, again, at well, least no, it wasn't TNA like actually. Uh, their pay per views may not be the greatest, but they do go the majority of the three hours. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, you never know. This could have been a situation brewing, and they might have extended some matches a little bit longer. They and probably did in advance. For the so. recap, you can tell the announcers were trying to stall for time too. Mm -hmm. They knew mm -hmm. it was 
that it was nothing. There was nothing to say. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, ridiculous. Yeah, there's, there's nothing to build towards. There's no match yeah. that's going to pay anything off. It's, it's ridiculous. And, yeah, you know, and people this were. This is a real, you know, this, this is a real shame because, uh, as you can see, I have a new TNA shirt. Yeah, I went to I went to a house show yeah. of theirs on Friday night in Poughkeepsie, in my hometown, and Jeff Hardy. You know, for all the shit we give him, he had a phenomenal, no pun intended, match with AJ Styles. And it was yep. really a spectacular match. Like, a match I heard, that I felt justified paying my hard-earned money for, for the ticket. And I heard, and I heard. I mean, whether we like it or not, apparently the match between AJ Styles and Matt Hardy at the pay-per-view was pretty good. Mm -hmm. It was. And I it was agree. Good. I mean, it, AJ had to carry Matt Hardy. And let's be honest, you have to give anyone credit if they have to carry Matt Hardy. Which, which I did tell him on Twitter <laughs> before big. the match. Yeah. <laughs> When she was bragging about it, he's like, cause, uh, I think his quote on Twitter was, I'm going to make sure my match with AJ steals the show. And uh, or it was either steal the show or makes it worth the $45. I'm like, yeah, good job. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, stealing that show is kind of like stealing change from the counter at the quick stop when Dante's getting his fingernails painted. <laughs> Wow, Donzo. Wow. Well, and, and the thing is, like, like I said, you, you went to a house show. I, I was looking to go to a house show next this next month. I don't think I'm going to bother now. I mean, yes, the house yeah. shows are better, but do I really want to support a product that does crap like this? Because remember, uh, now you know, let's 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 uh, uh, break this over to a contrast. Uh, Wrestle fan, I've been I've been watching your tweets. Uh, it's <laughs> been you have been oh boy. you have been exploring the world of WCW circa what you said the New Blood uh, era. It was a, it was around the New Blood era, which was that, interesting. Yeah. I got to watch um, some episodes before and after uh, the episode that was pretty much the demise of WCW, which was when David Arquette won the world title. Uh huh. So and it was interesting. It was um, and to mention the whole David Arquette thing. Um, the way, the way they started the whole David Arquette storyline was actually pretty good for like a celebrity that was coming in and all that. Mm -hmm. Like they had him wrestle Eric Bischoff and it was like, if he wrestled Eric Bischoff, DDP gets the world title shot against Jeff Jarrett mm -hmm. and Nitro, which he won the same night. DDP won the belt, but it wasn't the main event, which didn't make any sense. The main event was Sting and Vampiro in their first blood match. Because, you know, <laughs> title changes don't need to be in the main event, apparently. No, but no. It, it looked like a good it looked like a good celebrity, you know, coming into a wrestling company and doing something. Mm -hmm. And I've read the stories. I've read the stories about the whole David Arquette winning the world title. Accor apparently, Vince Russo, uh, when he was in the back, he had the entire card booked for that thunder. And then Tony Schiavone came up to him and said, hey, you know, what would be a good idea. David Arquette winning the world heavyweight title. And he's like, yeah, that would be a good idea. Which, for uh, Russo, apparently he's blaming, he's, so he's blaming Tony Schiavone for the whole thing. But second, <laughs> it's his fault because he changed the entire freaking show, like the day of it, to work around it, which doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. that's, that's the thing. The one thing I noticed, because um, everyone compares WCW 2000 to TNA nowadays, because they're so, you know, they're run pretty much by the same people, practically, Vince Russo. Um, and Hogan and Bishop, whatever. But um, what? the thing I, I noticed with the main dents between WCW and TNA, the thing that WCW had that TNA didn't, is that Fans. for most of the shit, yeah, for most of the crappy stuff, the crowd was still hot. Trap. Okay. Like, the crowd was still into, like, Hogan and Nash and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And like you know, with TNA fans, you can barely hear anything in that arena. Yeah. It, well, the thing is, I mean, you have what was going on in WCW. WCW still had a lineage behind it. You know, you still had people and there WCW like I've been also watching. Gave away a lot of free tickets. Yes. Yeah. That too. That helps. That and in different venues, not the same one every week. I mean, you, it, like we're talking about Nitro. We're talking about Thunder. The ones that toured. We're not talking about yeah. Worldwide. We're not going to talk about Saturday Night. That's different. You can treat those in a studio environment like that. And by um, and by the way, um, I heard I I've heard all these stuff about WCW in the past. Why does everyone say Thunder was so bad? Thunder was better <laughs> than some of the Nitros. To be perfectly uh, honest, in a certain era, yes, but they were they were like the 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 B ish show, and uh, it was it was rough for a while. 
Um, which I don't get that because they they didn't have the dual thing going on like SmackDown uh, Raw now. Uh, they just kind of offered right. a lot of their other talent to it. Um, but your your tweets have been interesting because you you've tagged them watching WCW. Uh, and and a lot of the a lot of the comments. Uh, you know, I, I imagine you didn't watch WCW back in this era, right? I didn't know because you, you were. I wasn't watching a whole lot of wrestling. Too. Back you were you were a bit younger. Wrestle fan was in younger. his mother's womb. So it's been interesting to see uh, your commentary through this, and especially since I did watch the majority of that through that time period, uh, and it's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, there's that. Um, <laughs> so so as far as these comparisons of a, a WCW uh, to TNA now and and stuff we're so angry about now. Uh, what I mean, do you, do you lend any uh, validity to that? Um, there's it's to a degree. Mm-hmm. Like you can see some similarities, but it's like I said, Nitro. The fan, the fans were still entertained with Nitro. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. you know, if they uh, but they did they did have a Nitro had a really bad tendency, as like we mentioned uh, a couple weeks on the show with Dave Lagana, of crapping on the live crowd because they had like a total of like five matches on one card two of them uh only two of them ended in an actual finish yeah you know it was it was bad some of them were like the world title matches that they had like every nitro only lasted like five minutes yeah yeah and a lot of times they'll even have like two type title changes in a night it was crazy back then um yeah it, it was it was they, and and i think they had the same problem that tna had where they never built on anything yeah they yeah. never said, "Oh, watch this Nitro uh, when DDP challenges Jeff Jarrett for the world title." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then they always so go to the end of the night, <laughs> whatever that ends up with. So I, it's really interesting. Are you going to continue doing that? Uh, the answer is no. I don't think so. Now <laughs> you had enough of it. Like that was a nice sampling. We're moving on from here. Um, well, it, it's been very entertaining. If you decided, to, you, I'd like to see you dip into some old ECW, maybe. WrestleFan, if you want, I can send you some some other uh, like ECW stuff Ooh. and things like that if you want to be exposed to it. I have a few old DVDs. And stuff. I, I I have seen some episodes like back in like, late two thousand. Mm-hmm. Oh well, like which the, was you know probably the yeah. TNN area era. Yeah. So. Oh, with the network that will also remind you a lot of TNA. Mm-hmm. They're blaming yes. the network on every booking decision. Uh, I believe I was watching TNA two weeks ago and wondered if Cyrus was going to show up. Um, so and yeah, it's the same network. Funny. It's the same network, guys. Technical. That would actually be really funny. That'd be and great. I would approve of that. They they love these Cyrus. Cyrus, Cyrus they love these Cyrus has worked for things. TNA before though. Hmm. Uh, oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Everybody. Everyone's worked there. for TNA. <laughs> it's like a, the horror of you know. Anyways, I, I one one other thing about Sting. Sure. And then we go ahead and hey, move on. Sting. We gotta get off TNA. Hey Sting, because I know you listen. <laughs> Don't you wish Big you fan. took that WrestleMania paycheck now? <laughs> <laughs> Man, job in the Undertaker looks really good about Whoa. now, doesn't it? Um yeah. yeah. Job in the Undertaker with a six figure paycheck on the grandest stage of an all and a Hall of Fame spot guaranteed. Everybody would forget or, you were in TNA hey, last four years. Jeff is drunk. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The only, the yeah, only one, on the only last thing to note about TNA is apparently Jeff Hardy was sent home from the TV tapings. Good. So I, yeah, yeah. we kind of know, we kind of know what I happened. I really the match. don't even care. No more that stupid belt. No more. Because of more eight him. time is the charm, I guess. Serious. Oh no, Sorg, <laughs> Um, Sting has a new TNA title. It, it actually looks pretty good. It reminded yeah. me of like a UFC sort dude, of title. Dude, yeah. Eric Young is still wearing the old one. <laughs> That's Which, why. Like, funny enough, take that funny back, enough, you know what? Eric Young is a more credible TNA champion than either Sting or Hardy. Which is funny enough. May they stole bump. that from WCW. Moving on from they, no, other they're, they're, wrestling. Hey, you know what's more interesting is, than TNA? Anything? Storyline in WCW. My new Chachi says hat. <laughs> That's no, more they interesting. Did a sto- they did a storyline in WCW where uh, Scott Hall got rid of the TV title. And Hacksaw Jug- Jim Duggan, who was uh, the janitor, yes, he yeah. found it in a yeah. trash. It up. Yeah, yeah, we remember that. <laughs> it's the same Wait, thing. That's... that's where Eric Young found the TV title, uh, the TNA World title. So okay, moving okay. on. All right, so so a lot of us here now have Netflix, right? Yes. Well, I saw yes, I right. saw an article. Of course, you know, I've been I've been mentioning, I've been I've been tweeting these out when they they've come up and everything. 
Uh, but Netflix has been kind of quietly getting a lot of WWE stuff. Like all the new movies, like the Chaperone, Legendary, Knucklehead, which Chachi hates, uh, have been showing up there at least within about a week of the DVD releases. Um, and I'm like, okay, they were kind of straight to video ish. They had that small theater run of like five theaters across the nation. Um, so, so then I find it's like, okay, the big show thing was released. Oh, that's cool. And I saw the true story yeah. of WrestleMania. Oh, that was just released mm-hmm. today. I actually got to see the first half of the rest fan. I think you watched the whole thing because you don't I work. Did, yeah. Um, <laughs> then I saw an article on, on pro wrestling done. And let me, let me log in here, guys. Um, so I can show you and you can see all the crazy stuff that's in my queue. Um, but. Which, by the way, I did get to watch the also the Big Show uh, documentary. Oh, great it's documentary! It's a great documentary. Oh yeah, I enjoyed that one. I was surprised because, of course, me not wanting, watching WCW in the past of how agile he was in WCW. Oh yeah, he's doing like he was kicks. doing he, he was doing top rope drop kicks like it was no tomorrow. I'm like, wow. So there's actually not an easy way for me to bring this up, uh, but well, they, there is. I, I have the list on hand. It's uh. Now, now available is um, Heart and Soul, the Heart Family Anthology, Ricky Steamboat, Life Story of the Dragon, Breaking the Code, the Chris Jericho DVD, the John Cena Experience, oh. Top 50 Superstars of All Time, the Bobby Van Hinnan DVD, uh, as we mentioned, the True Story of WrestleMania, and the Rise and Fall of WCW. <laughs> there it is right huh. there. there. Well, it's not going to play down here, I think, uh, because this is an older computer, but... Uh, but yeah, all these available, you know, again, they're the documentary parts, not the matches that would normally be included. Um, which, which I don't, cause you can find most that's of those. That's fine. That gives you a reason to buy the DVD yeah. if you're really into it. You know, that's like the Especially extra. Especially since some of the, uh, shows have like either special segments that they haven't aired on TV mm-hmm. or, uh, sometimes they'll have alternate commentary. Like that's why I tell everyone to buy the Chris Jericho set. Cause there are a few matches that have commentary with Jericho. Mm-hmm. And yeah. they also show and, and, some segments post Raw and post SmackDown. They're absolutely hilarious. And I've noticed, and I've noticed for a while, like ever since the like about the Chris Jericho DVD, that a lot of these were not being carried on carried on disc because I used to, I still have a bunch of uh, ones from years past in my queue for me to watch, like the, the Horseman DVD set. I watched Dusty Rhodes thanks to that, the, the Brian Pillman set. Uh, the, the the original Bright Heart uh set that was put out. No, no, actually, no, that bar- I borrowed from LB. Uh, but it was in my queue before that. Uh, and a lot of these were in my queue too. Uh, but but never released or or you know some of them I think were on disc, but maybe they're not distributing my- anymore. Uh, it's an interesting move here, and, and Netflix just became the like kind of backup to watch your wrestling. Uh, it's yeah, it's 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 about as much as uh, a as you get on demand for in in. And it's trem- it's great, you know. I I'm hoping more follow suit, you know. Maybe they put like start putting old pay per views on here or something. Um, they they do have they do have some pay per views, but I think it's on their own. They don't they aren't uh, live streaming. No, they're, they're discs. not. Well, they're discs. No. So yeah, they're just discs. But, but interesting balance, still. and and that's something that's something to keep an eye on. Uh, to see what Netflix does with that. We we're seeing a lot of different distribution deals. They're kind of moving away from discs. Uh, and they're making these weird 28 day deals and everything. Uh, so if you want to get some of these, uh, uh, WWE DVDs, uh, for a little cheaper, there's an option for you. So. Oh, yeah. All right. Moving on, uh, in other embarrassing. God, really? These guys again, these fucking yahoos in South, in yep. the Carolinas that pissed me the fuck off. I guess yep, I did yep, skip yep. over this. Uh, Can we just oh stop God. talking about them altogether? Well, he's not in TNA. Uh, just read this. He's not in wrestling. <laughs> he's not in he wrestling. We don't have to. He has done a couple of indie shows, but uh, Shane, Shane Helms. Shane Helms was mm-hmm. apparently arrested uh, for fighting in a club. Though I guess he he uh, clears up in a Twitter post. Oh, because that's where he has to go. Um, he wasn't arrested. Uh, quote quote can't let can't let Jeff get all the heat. LOL, but I didn't get arrested at all. Got a citation for defending my woman. No regrets, so apologies. Mm-hmm. And the, the only reason I posted this in the rundown is, is this what the whole Hardy Boys and Helms and all this other stuff has become? Is to try to top one another? And being idiots. It's bad when Shannon Moore is the most morally upstanding person in your group. I like <laughs> Shannon Moore. And like, he... And he is so, I mean, of course he's friends with Matt and Jeff and Shane and all that, but he is the most upstanding one of the, two, of the four. 
these these Cannon guys. Just, I know Cam Moore never has been in any kind of trouble or anything like that. What'd you say there, uh, Riz? He's the one. He looks like he's usually on drugs. What'd you say, Riz? Or <laughs> even though he looks like knuckleball shorts, doesn't hasn't done anything to, you know, piss people off. And he that's hasn't stepped on any toes. He hasn't, you know, burned any bridges. Mm-hmm. Well, in in more positive news, uh, from my TNA star, thankfully, uh, Brian Kendrick, the Brian Kendrick, showed up on. The price is right. Didn't mm-hmm. we talk about this last week? Yeah. We last week? I, th- I think we talked about it last week. Yeah. We? Oh, yeah. This, it was making it. Well, well, I think it's still funny because <laughs> so, Drew. So excited. Because Drew, yeah. Drew Carey just announced as. Uh, yeah, that is true. In as the, a new Hall of Famer. New Hall of Famer. I don't. I don't get it. Well, you don't get it. Hey, that was Missy saying last night. She didn't understand. Why don't you don't get either. Drew Carey? Dude, I'm, there I, are like I, I, I can Pete name Rose. at least ten other celebrities that deserve to be in there more. Okay. I un- Res- <laughs> wrestle fan. Is there any offer in there? I don't. I don't know. I think this would. Uh, I think she is. I think she was last year, right? Oh yeah, Cindy Lauper uh, is in there. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Well, never but, mind. Um, Cindy Lauper, I get. Uh, William Perry, I get. Mm-hmm. Pete Rose, I get. Drew Carey was in one Royal Rumble. And it was only to promote, like, some TV show that he had going or whatever. Uh, well, that, that doesn't cut. No, wait, 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 wait. Well, okay, okay. He was in the Royal Rumble as opposed to Pete Rose showed up and got Tombstone a few times, as opposed yeah, to... Yeah, there was WrestleMania, Rose and he did three, it three times. consecutive WrestleMania, Zorg. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, who then in Harris a commercial for No Mercy with Kane, where he turned down little children dressed as wrestling superstars. <laughs> that was funny. I, was, that. Wow. I know my history, damn it. You, you need to send me, send, me, send me that YouTube after the show. I have to see this. I'm trying to I remember that was the that was the no mercy that revolved around the whole Katie Vick thing. Because I mean like Bobby Yeah, and then Kane showed up at the door and he's like, Hi Pete. And then he choke slammed him. Oh yeah, yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was really good. Um where do I get a but, list? I mean William Perry made a WrestleMania moment by, you know, being in the NFL versus W you have Battle Royal and eliminating Big John Stud. Okay. You know. Okay. You know, Pete Rose had a great a WrestleMania feud with Kane. You know, YouTube three, link that in the chat, Sork. But it's still it was that doesn't help me now. Um, but still, it I was, know it was I'm a Royal Rumble saying. moment, so I think that counts as being like, as my mind, I think in most people's minds, the number two pay per view of the year. I mean, I think that still counts. You know, okay, it's not WrestleMania, but. I mean, it doesn't you know, have to be WrestleMania. It's just like, said this okay, online. so now, so now is, um, well, actually, Mike Tyson would make more sense going in there. And Mike Tyson Mike should Tyson be in there eventually. Make infinitely Mike Tyson more sense good. going in there. Yes, yeah. That, that's so he's the, not going so, to. So, so, so the chick that wrestled, um, the one from Entertainment Tonight that wrestled in a match on Raw, is she going to be in Hall of Fame now? Maria you know, He was in one oh, match. Come on. Come on. Yeah, well, that was she on was Raw. in one match. Those that wrestled. Are would, going to be in the Hall of Fame. you on WWE TV longer than Drew Carey was? Would you would you uh, make a case for nothing, Bob? We have nothing to look forward to next year. Yeah, exactly. Um, would you make a case for Bob Barker being in the uh, the celebrity p- wing of the Hall of Fame well, here? I believe friend of the show Dave Lagana said that if Bob Barker is the one inducting Drew Carey, then he'd be okay with it. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, yeah. Bob Barker wouldn't make as, as much sense either. I thought I heard rumors yeah. about him uh, swinging by WrestleMania this year, actually. Yeah, that was just the rumors to throw everyone off the rock being the guest host. Where do we find a list of the Hall of Famers? <laughs> um, all right, all right. Um, a- anything else to make you guys angry? Yes. Uh, yes. DNA. Sorg. Yes. Okay, what I have here is a copy of the new WWE magazine that I don't even think is out yet. Um, one of the perks of working for the company. Beat. But um, they have a quiz in there every month, which I'm. If you guys get the magazine, I'm sure you know of it. And there's one thing that really just kind of pissed me off a little bit. Okay, the questions hey, look, are about um. What? I said, hey, look, I tied my tie. Good lord! Wow. All right, the <laughs> questions are about the Undertaker's oh, WrestleMania streak. And the question is. What cocky comment did Triple H utter in 2001 
that provoked the phenom that led to their epic match at WrestleMania X7. Now I'm going to give you guys three choices, and you can kind of guess which one really pissed me off. A, I can end Taker's streak. B, I have no one left to beat. Or C, I'm king of mania. Which one do you uh, think it was? Okay. I'm going to go with B. D. That's that is one. exactly right. In 2001, oh. which was Triple 10 H. years Triple ago, therefore, it is eligible to be reused as per the seven year agreement. So, no, Ch- no. Ding, 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 ding. Is had I win. people to beat since this Mike. was 10 fucking years ago. If you don't like Mike. it, stop watching. Mike. Only Mike. No, you no, no. remember no, no, no. trivial hey. shit like that. Hey, hey, Mike. <laughs> The defense of this is, have you read their quizzes before? A five-year-old retard can do those quizzes. Whoa. No, no. Oh. Russell, fan, Russell fan, the quiz is not my point. My point is, this is the same exact feud. And they're just not acknowledging. They're literally just doing their same exact shit over and over again. Their last wait, wait, match wait, was even on, basically no disqualification. Well, that's, that's nothing they new. said on Raw that there will be no sledgehammers barred. At WrestleMania 17, Triple H swung hard at the Undertaker's head with a sledgehammer and still Wait, could Mike, not beat Mike. him. So B was the correct answer. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> let's, let's get this straight. Let's get this straight. It was B. It was B, right? It was B. I love you, Wrestle fan. Oh, In oh a, that, yeah. never mind. <laughs> wow. No, um, see, you're looking at it as a purely historic thing. You are looking at it as being there the last time, therefore it's already happened, therefore it can't happen again. But what you don't realize is WWE has to include new fans. They have to keep the new fans interested. Mm -hmm. The new fans want trips. The new fans want Taker. To a point. There is a reason. There is a reason for that match to happen. And if Triple H had just said, hey, you put my best friend out of the business, Fine, I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely okay with well, that. Well, what? Since you're so close, why don't you apply for a writing job? I mean, we're talking about a world where I see the exact same uh, uh, storylines being done uh, down the road from another Fed. I mean, we're we, this. This is professional wrestling. They re- reuse shit all the time. If you're tired of that, then you maybe want to move on to MMA. Um, no, but I'm just I'm just upset that they're not actually acknowledging. That hey, this is the exact same thing we did literally ten of years. Of course, before. they're not going no, to acknowledge that. It. it was a stretch, a stretch by any imagination that they referenced the CM Punk Orton uh, uh, punt to the head back when you know CM Punk was a face, Orton was a heel, and whatever in in the way that they have, and they just you know spun it around. That's from what two, three years ago. Yeah, it, that was ridiculous that they brought up like one little segment on a pay per view nobody remembered. It was genius, but it was a stretch. And and for, you know, to say go back 10 years for a WrestleMania thing, that obviously are people gonna people are going to know about. I mean, they, they got, there's two weeks for a build here. I mean... It just pisses me off that when there is an easy storyline to do, a very easy storyline to do, and everyone just completely ignores it. That's the predictable like, thing to do. Yeah. Which means they're not going to do that. Oh, they're going to do this. Oh, they're going to do this. They do predictable things all the time. No, to you, they do all predictable the things all the time. Yeah. Because you've been watching it for 20-some years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, we're, we watch... You... Sorry, we, 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 we watch, I mean, we're, we're to the point we watch matches and we can kind of predict it almost move by move because we're like, oh, they're going to do this, they're going to do this. I mean... If you understand the formula of the match, every match is fucking predictable, Mike. Right. I mean, you you can't be well, no, breaking. I'm talking about feuds. I'm not talking about matches. Oh, and every I'm feud is the feuds. same way. You give the heel heat. You give the face heat. You turn around. There's a payoff at the end. It's it's the same formula, Mike. Every time in a different jacket. Okay. The same thing can be applied to the Miz and Cena. The Miz has been kicking Cena's ass for the past three weeks. Mm-hmm. And it'll turn around before WrestleMania or at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing they've done millions of times. Yeah, yeah. You have to accept the fact 
that you've been watching wrestling for 20-some years. Meanwhile, there are people out there that have only been watching wrestling for two or three years, so this is all new to them. You are you cannot look at wrestling the same way. You have to step back and say, oh, this is what they're doing. Yeah, okay, it goes back. I got that. <laughs> it goes back. I know that's what they're doing, but it doesn't mean I can't be upset about it. Yes, it does. It's, it's the no, weirdest it thing. It's the weirdest. You have 20 years of wrestling watching. It doesn't matter. Watching. I'm still entitled to my opinion, Chachi. Your opinion's wrong. <laughs> I no, don't it's be... not. Opinions can't be wrong. Yes, they can. No, uh, they can't. <laughs> well, this has gotten a real weird. Okay, we're gonna we're can gonna we go it out right once now? again. We're gonna go into some Proof therapy up. over professional wrestling here, guys. Let's well, wrap it up here. But we're Let's having a good time. <laughs> this uh, was getting good. I stopped my movie to talk to Mike about this. I'm having a great time. Oh, I actually got Chachi to pay attention to the show. <laughs> well, you guys were talking about TNA for a while, and I kind of dozed off because. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, we pretty much, you know, say that we we try to go from the perspective that we step up, you know, yes, we've been watching long enough that we can like go, oh, they're going to do this, oh, they're doing that now, but we try to step back here as a show and as as fans of wrestling and enjoy it again, you know, and and be a fan in the audience, I you still know, enjoy and it. as a fan in the audience to be like I loved everything about Raw last night. Okay, Raw was great last night. Well. But you're but you're you're hung up on the weirdest thing, Mike. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't. I, I'm not. I'm just trying to understand your perspective. Where you're like, oh, that was great. That was fun. I'm Hell, I'll eat it. Off that, that Triple H's excuse ten years ago was saying he has no one to fight. Yet somehow, some way, he found ten years of people to fight. Isn't that like? Yeah. Isn't, isn't that Triple H's? In? Isn't that Triple H's excuse every time? Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, you know, the, the the that's the excuse for any any of these is, uh, you're the biggest dog in the yard. I'm the other biggest dog in the yard. Let's find out who's the biggest dog in the yard. I mean, that's half of WrestleMania right there. You know, and let's do it on the biggest stage at all. Let's point at the sign. Let me point at this at this Ninja <laughs> Turtles thing. I'm gonna <laughs> hang back here. And like, I'm going to WrestleMania. And and that's it. I mean, that's the storyline for the last two months, guys. You know, nothing's new. You know, we know it's gonna. Hey, you play it the sign. Hey, we go fuck that owl. I. You know what? What the fuck are we doing here, guys? Listen, Did you say you were gonna listen, fuck the owl. You are not big freaky. <laughs> Let's go fuck that owl, guys. What? I think we have a show title. Wow. Let's go fuck the owl. Let's go fuck that out. Guys, so seriously, we gotta get out, because obviously I'm getting fucking delirious after those mayhemy uh, second speeches. <laughs> God, what the hell? Uh, wrestling fan, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I learned from wrestling this week that Snooki's a tiny little whore. <laughs> <laughs> and that's having fun with it. I love you, I wrestling. like that. I like that. Riz, uh, what'd you learn from wrestling this a week? a tiny little whore? <laughs> <laughs> all right, wrestle fan for that one She's time. A tiny little whore. I rescind all my comments. You deserve your mayhem. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. That, that was perfect. Wow. Um, oh. Anyways, I learned that uh, Michael Cole's little box is made out of <laughs> the same material as the chamber doors. <laughs> 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 DJ, DJ Lunchbox, what did you learn about wrestling or engineering of structures? <laughs> oh, Jesus, that's a whole that opens up a whole new world. <laughs> um, I learned. I I, le I also learned something about Smokey. I learned that uh, she has perfected the spider monkey attack. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna come at you like a spider monkey. Mm -hmm. Snooki <laughs> wants smoosh smoosh. Sorry, sorry, had the best tweet last night about her and John Morrison. So, run away. Was it John? No, run away, one, John uh, Morrison. Run away. No, John, her her temple is not full of wisdom. Oh yes. <laughs> it's a trap. God. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Her temple is full of herpes. <laughs> Man, Mike, I'm afraid to ask. What'd you learn from wrestling this week? Wow. Okay. I. Uh, all right. I I learned something at the TNA house show this week. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm afraid. I. I learned I can still anger a small child oh, to the shit. point where he threatens to break my fingers. <laughs> How is... old? Wait, all right, th all right. Quick, quick story. Sure, sure. There's the match between Jeff Hardy and AJ Styles. 
Um, I've been cheering the heels the whole night because I'm an asshole. And, and the entire crowd, Gipsy, don't, don't, was there don't tell to me you see. cheer Matt Hardy. No, Matt Hardy was not even there, so it was the best show oh. ever. <laughs> so anyway, the entire. So, so wait, wait, wait. Once Gipsy, again, he's avoiding you. Yes. Wait, I can hear you. What did you say? Once, once again, he's avoiding you. Yes, of course. He, Matt Hardy never fucking shows up to see me. No, nope. never. Nope. He's scared. He's scared because I, I know I can beat him in a order. beating contest and a beating contest. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the entire crowd of Poughkeepsie was there to see Jeff Hardy. I'm because sorry, they you couldn't beat TNA Matt Hardy fans. in an eating contest. Oh, sorry, man. That's true. Story. All right. <laughs> that was a bit much. Go I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's, he, he stepped on you a little bit. Go ahead. No, I was drinking. I had to say it before <laughs> okay. you finished the story. Okay. Go ahead. I apologize. Yeah. All right, uh, so um, to fix that the Poughkeepsie crowd was not there to see TNA. They were there to see Jeff Hardy, and it was very evident by that was the only person they actually were chanting for and were very loud for. So me, I decided to be an asshole again and cheer for AJ Styles <laughs> the entire match. This kid in front of me, like one row right in front of me, standing on his seat, had to be eight years old. Every single time I would scream, let's go, AJ, he would turn around and threaten to throw a punch at me. (laughs) So then I kept screaming, AJ, and AJ was on his on a roll in the match and I was laughing at the kid. So he pretended to throw three punches at me that came about this close to my face. Okay, I didn't move. I just stood there and laughed at the kid. They shoved me in. They poked me in the chest. And he saw I didn't do anything. So he went to do it again. I grabbed his hand. I said, don't do that. So <laughs> he he stayed relatively quiet for the rest of the match because Hardy was doing okay. And I still kept screaming, let's go, AJ. AJ eventually won with a Styles Clash. And uh, the little kid was just standing there. Like, I couldn't see his face. But I had to imagine it would be like if Russell Fan saw the cookie stand was empty. Or something something (laughs) into that. And I just went right up behind him, right up behind his little head, and I said, Hardy lost. Hardy lost. And he turned around. He turned around. I threw up the fortune symbol like I was flipping him (laughs) off. And he just looked at me and said, I'm going to break your fingers. That's not the fortune symbol. That's a shocker. This is the fortune symbol. symbol. This is the shocker. There's a difference. Mike, Fortune Mike, has a thumb. Mike, I hope you never have kids. Oh, please. No, no I hope you no. do. Because then you'll... <laughs> you're mean to me, you're fine. mean to the no. kids at the wrestling then shows. I will, tr- I will teach my children not to root for drug dealers. That's true. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Wait, wait, were they... So the kids were there with their parents, right? Uh, the This particular child had no parents around oh, him. Of course. Uh, of course, fucking, why fucking, would they? Fucking poo kipsy. All right, Chachi, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? My um, God. I'm going to say <laughs> this. People are going to, uh, one person is going to argue with me. <laughs> but I still think The Rock, whether via satellite or in arena, still delivers some of the best promos ever. I agree with you. I mean, I agree with you. Uh, my, uh, I guess we uh, we were we said we were going to get yeah, into this a little Yeah, we said we were going to talk about it, but I, we didn't, and I understand. I, I feel cheated by him being pre-taped. Again, going back to what yeah. WrestleFan mentioned. Um, I'm pointing it was at, fun. I'm pointing at the sign, by the way. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm going to WrestleMania. <laughs> no, you're going to Ninja <laughs> Turtles. Uh, Although, the mock last night was phenomenal. Now, yeah, I, I mean, it's it just the whole the I, thing. I, I, every time I see a pre-tape like that, I feel for the audience. That's the problem. I have a little bit yeah. of sympathy pains for the audience because it's like, oh, it's Rock. He's not fucking, you know. They throw a pre-tape like that up for us at, at Raw Monday night in Pittsburgh. I'm mean, like, I great. I'm watching TV. I almost TV. wish they wouldn't show a crowd shot when they do that. Yeah, because the crowd just looks so dejected. Like, Great. Okay. Oh, Rock's not here. Oh, oh, okay. We're not gonna get the Rock. Okay. Well, you know, or whatever. We're watching TV. I could have done this at home, and I just paid ten dollars in ticket master fees per ticket. Um, I mean, come on, guys. Not, not even ten dollars. Yeah. I mean, that's my problem with it in the long run. I mean, it, the promos are great. The promos are great. The I Rock is it. the Rock, but 
The Rock They'd is, be better live. That, that's what say. The promos the Rock, would be better live. The Rock is better in front of a live audience that he can play off of. What well, the year the year the year the the week after that promo though didn't require audience no, participation. No, but that promo was set up I agree. perfectly. I agree. Yeah, that, but that the promo week, would be hard to do in front of a live The week guy, after No it wouldn't. Guys, it would not be I can I can give you at least five or ten promos where someone has brought out either a midget or a child dressed up like yeah, another wrestler and they're having new, a it's, conversation. It's, hey, it's usually a midget. Props get so. the child that can attempt the rap. Uh, but anyways, no, the point is, like I said, the week after like that, when he tried to do the fan interaction via video with no, you know, the, like actual interaction, that thing fell flat. The Rock and that the, I knew the yeah. Rock would do better in person. Yeah, there. when they did and the electricity thing in the arena, oh, that was so fucking that's, stupid. That's what kind of spoiled the rest of it for me. I thought it was a cool so, idea. Uh, but but they're keeping them separate until WrestleMania when you get smart. So, but um, but yeah, I'm with you. The Rock, the Rock's as good as he ever was. I thought it was regardless. Amazing. I thought it was hilarious. Regardless, and the fact that they just kept it going the whole night. Mm. Was awesome. Mm. Miz coming out oh. in the skull cap. And, oh, and that was good. Was, and that was good. especially when they showed the crowd shots when they actually thought The Rock was there. Oh like, man, that was good. Mm-hmm. That what was if you're really in good. The cheap seats, and you really did think that was The Rock coming down on TV. It looked like The Rock, from dude. The it, yeah, it dude, on TV, TV it looked like The yeah, Rock. Yeah. yeah. Until so, he took off the sunglasses, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So. Oh, and um, mm-hmm. from the chat room, Magus learned that not being on the Mayhem show for three weeks gives him Mayhem blue balls. Oh, we'll have to bring you back next week. We'll have to make you. We'll bring him back next week for the Gargano. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and on that note. Sorg. Sorg, hey, Sean, what'd which, you learn oh, this I week? I, did I, lear- no? I, did, I didn't learn. No. I didn't. What did you learn from wrestling Did this I learn? Week? What did I learn? What did I learn? Dude, um, you act like you don't know this question is coming. I don't. <laughs> well, we almost forgot never that entirely time. sure. Um, if it's going to be coming, uh, if I need to cover. Um, uh, that's a shame. I, uh, I watched most of SmackDown here, uh, mostly because I heard Edge and Christian were reforming. And... Uh, yeah, yeah, and they're doing it again for the tag belts this week. This this week, they better be doing uh, a moment for flash photography. Oh well, they oh, did yeah. one uh, in front of a live crowd two weeks ago. They did. Yes, it but was after the it was show. after the cameras were on. But oh, okay. Well, well, still, oh well, yeah, of course they're going to do it for the live crowd. That's what that's that's oh, and guys, we forgot Jim Ross was on Raw. Jim Ross yes. was on Raw, looking oh, yeah. great. He was. He was, on he Raw. was awesome. in good health to be taking the bumps that he did. That's fantastic. Good to see that was Jr. I hope they I hope they bring but him I back. Think, I hope he's good enough to travel. You know, I think there's a rumor now that he tore something or he tweaked something, his knee or something. I wouldn't be surprised. He, he, the ankle he just tweeted that his ankle hurt. He's just kayfabe. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. He, he's yeah, he's an old kayfabe. school guy. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, was there anything else uh, anybody learned in the chat room we might have missed? I don't think so. Oh. Uh, Maga said he, the rock stole Kane's evil background music. That is true. Yeah, yeah. That is well, true. Recycled those. I thought I thought it was bad um, soundtrack work from the Scorpion King, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please. This has been your wrestling mayhem doing? show. Uh, controversy in the game world. How's your mom doing? Is she going to talk to you? What the what? hell? <laughs> I don't know. How is your mom <laughs> doing? <laughs> on <her> phone. <laughs> Guys, please hit us up WrestlingMayhemShow.com at twi- Twitter at Mayhem Show. <laughs> uh, contact us at Good Times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. 412-200-XWMS0-9670. Look for us on iTunes. Subscribe. Call us when you're drunk. Flip.tv, Mediafly, everywhere else. Just look up Wrestling Mayhem Show. You'll find us all kinds of places. YouTube even. Uh, we'll Not see you guys next anymore. week for Chachi, Mad Mike, uh, the Wrestle Ooh. Fan, the award winning Riz, and the DJ Lunchbox, who's, I don't know, talking about up, moms. Dude. Talking about moms and stuff. Talking man. about moms. Yeah. This is Sword. Mom. We'll see you guys next week. Mayhem out. <laughs>